water through that storm. Now I have some scripture, some scripture passages to help you during those times to remind you that you are loved and cared for by a Savior and a God who can bring you through anything. Psalm 37, 4 to 5. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will do this. Psalm 46, 10. He says, be still and know that I am God. Philippians 4, 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Psalm 118.8 It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans, when we know that to be true sometimes. Psalm 62.8 Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Psalm 145.18, the Lord is near to all who call on him. 1 Peter 5.7, cast all your problems on him because he cares for you. Proverbs 3.5-6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. And last, Joshua 1, 9, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Amen. People, God cares about you, God sees you, God hears you, he knows you, God knows what is best for you, God knows what you need, God knows you better than you know yourself. His timing is perfect. He's never too late, and he's never too early. The trials and tribulations we go through are to help us grow in faith and trust in him. They are to help us grow in areas of our life that we are weak in and become stronger in through our trust in him as we go through those trials and tribulations. They help us grow in our belief in him, knowing he will be there with us through it all. And they help us grow in love and appreciation to an all-knowing and loving God who cares enough about us to see us through. It takes courage, love, and trust in Jesus to get out of the boat. But when we do, oh, what peace and joy of heart and mind we get when we do. Amen. So get out of the boat and trust Jesus through the storm. Let us pray. Amen. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we just thank you that we know as we go through trials and tribulations through the storms of our life that you are there, that you never leave us or forsake us, that you walk with us, that you talk to us, that you're there in everything in every way. And we know that our trials and tribulations have a point, that there is something we are to learn, something we are to grow into or know as we go through them. It is also to help us grow closer to you because the closer we are to you, the more we know that you are there, Father God, and we know that you will bring us through. So the next time, Father God, we're going through trials and tribulations, remind us to get out of the boat, to give those trials and tribulations over to you, because you are all powerful. There is nothing impossible with you, and that everything that we go through is for our good and your glory. May we never forget this, Father God. We ask all these things in your son's most precious name, and we'll give you all the praise and all the glory.